Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Audio bandwidth for the weekly Daily Gizwiz is provided by the new Winamp for Android, featuring wireless sync and one-click iTunes import. Now with free daily music downloads and full-length CD listening parties. Download it for free at winamp.com slash android. Video bandwidth for the weekly Daily Gizwiz is provided by Cashfly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. It's time for the Weekly Daily Gizwiz with Matt's maddest writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1323, recorded Saturday, July 16th, 2011. There's, there's no theme. The Daily Gizwiz is brought to you by Netflix. Watch thousands of TV episodes and movies on your PC, Mac, iPad, iPhone, or TV instantly. All streamed directly to you, saving you time, money, and hassle. For your free 30-day trial, visit netflix.com slash twit. And by Squarespace.com, the fast and easy way to create a high-quality website or blog. For a free trial and 10% off your new account for six months, go to Squarespace.com and use the offer code GIZWIZ7. And now, get ready for Dick. It is here, ladies and gentlemen, the moment we've all been waiting for. The last time we have to do a show out of this dump. The last GIZWIZ <laughs> from the Twit Cottage. studio will believe he'll be even dumber <laughs> dick this is it this is the beginning you are the first show to be the last show from the cottage uh yes and i was one of the first shows when you started the cottage but you were was... the last show that i ever wanted to do for the first show for the last show from the cottage I know, but I'm the second after the first show to be the premiere show at the new building. But at least I got to close out the old building. Right. Or should we just do it from the street? <laughs> at this point, we might as well be. So the, I just realized that the beginning with this show... As we go through every show, it's going to be, you know, I'm going to be saying, well, this is the last time we do it. From the yes. The last yes. time we do it. From now, this, but you're the first to be the last. Oh, good. Good. Yeah. As long as I'm the last and the first of something. You were, and you're right. You were one of the earliest shows we did from here because that was when well, we had the elf, the sweaty elf. Yes. And you had, I remember when Colleen was there and you said, Dick, I've got to show you the desk just arrived. Wow. And, the desk had nothing on it except you had an old-fashioned microphone. Right. That I, was it a real mic? I don't even know if it was a dummy mic or, and and uh, you were saying, look at Dick and look at all this space, and you you got <laughs> we have on so the much desk. Room in here. <laughs> you got on the desk and you were doing waves and angels in the desk. That lasted an hour and a half. Then Colleen came in and put everything in here, and now there's no room at all. I could barely move. And it started out with this historic cottage. This historic cottage. away in Petaluma. Yes, indeed. And now you can't decide whether you're going to burn it down for the insurance or knock it over with a wrecking ball. One or the other. So, one thing yeah, will never it. change, though, in the new studio. We still won't have your name on the front. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just, used to that. Uh, listen, I have the tear-off tape from the last time. What do I care? <laughs> Actually, did we leave? Did we leave his name on the front, or did I take it down as soon as he left? I looked out the back window when Alex is driving me away. The name was coming off. So, <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Quick, get right. out the power screwdriver. Take that thing down. I was doing down. my speech, saying I am so touched by. I heard a crash. And out of the corner of my eye, I saw my sign had fallen off already. <laughs> so I just stepped a little to the left so as to well, save embarrassment. I don't actually think that we're going to, you know, we're not going to have that sign. We'll, have, we'll preserve that sign somewhere. Is he still on yeah. the front? What? What are you asking me? Should you save my salad? Yes, you should save my salad. Yes. Oh, do okay. I want it now? No, I don't want it now. There's no room in the studio. I could barely yeah. eat it. 
<laughs> so you now, now you know how I rate. It is you're asking, does Dick have a sign on the building? And all Lisa wants to know is, should she save your salad? I yeah, know. pretty much that's it. Yeah, right I know, there. I know. That's it in a nutshell. Uh, no, I guess we're not going to have, what are we going to, oh, I know what I want to do. Don't you want a monitor where you can just change the names as people show yes, up? Show up exactly. No, we're gonna, not even a monitor. I'm going to get one of those things they have at the Holiday Inn where you put the letters on. Welcome, Dick <laughs> Brit Brittol Brittola. Welcome, the yeah, the, the Whaley Haley Giz Diz. Yeah, and you know, just leave a box of letters out there and just yeah, say, let you do hey, it you know, yourself. When you come in, just put your name up. <laughs> That's we don't yourself. know how to spell it. Well, we do, you know, as you come in the door, so you come in the front door, on the left will be the wall of honor with all the uh, the bricks. There's so many people, over a thousand people now have purchased uh, bricks. Wow. It's not too late if you would like to be in that group, bricks.twit.tv, I should say. The first order, or the first shipment of bricks comes in two weeks, and we'll start okay. putting that, we'll start mounting them. And then after okay. we're done mounting them, we'll put them up on the wall. And uh, <laughs> and there should be a whole, the whole wall will be full of, of thousands yeah. of these bricks. Uh, and, but there's still time to get in the second wave, the second yeah. brick wave, bricks.twit.tv. And when the bricks run out, stars on the sidewalk. <laughs> yeah, whatever you want. If you'll buy yeah. it, I'll put it there. <laughs> but the trip, well, it's costing us a lot of money, and it really helps us to phrase oh, our Oh, I can expenses. imagine. Yeah. Um, but, but, but that wall was going to be the wall of, uh, for where I put pictures of the host, and so I'm not sure. But see, what I want to do for pictures of the host, I don't want to just, you know, radio stations, they do that, TV stations. When you go on a TV station, you know, they have the, hi, I'm Dick Gently, and you got to, you know, there's a picture with the thing of the host on there, right? Yes. I was yeah. thinking I would do that for all the hosts, but instead I want to do kind of a Harry Potter thing where they're actually, they look like their pictures are standing there, but they're actually digital frames. And every once in a while, they wink at you. Oh, I like it. Wouldn't that be funny? Or, yeah. if, or they're just standing there, and then they get up and they leave. And it's just an empty frame. Oh, that's funny. That's very funny. Wouldn't that be that funny? Is, that is great. Yeah, so I want to have kind of all these frames with all these pictures. And at first, when you look at it, you think, oh, that's the, you know, it's a wall with all the yeah, yeah, hosts, yeah. except they're kind of all moving around a little bit. Like I've trapped like them in aspic. <laughs> Does yeah. that have to be aspic? I hate aspic. You hate aspic? Jello. I'll put Jell you in jello. Or jell a pineapple okay. upside down kick if you really want to oh. kick. So, I'm what in. is our topic of the day today? Our topic is new technology versus old technology. New versus old today. Oh, yeah, because it's kind of clever. I have a new version of last week's gadget warehouse, and I have an old version of one of the gadgets I did last week. Wait a minute, week. I'm confused. So it's kind you have of, a new version uh, of, of last week's gadget warehouse? Yeah. So it's they weren't they it wasn't sufficient warning to them that the last version ended up in the gadget warehouse. They thought let's let's freshen this well, up. Well, let's put it this way: the last version was eighty bucks and didn't sell. The new version is ten bucks, mm. and I and I so think it, it doesn't sell. sell for less. No, well it does. Yes, well ten won't sell is for less. less. <laughs> ten is less than six. Okay. Okay. No wonder there are cost overruns there. I think you need an accountant. <laughs> I definitely somebody who can add anything. Yes. So, um, well, let's start. What is your first gadget of the day? Our uh, first gadget. Uh, you're looking at it because. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Don't a... tell me it's. Um, oh, it looks like Alfred E. Newman's wearing a new helmet. Is it? Is that it over uh, your over close, your right close, shoulder? Close. Close. No. Look at. Look at. at is it me, a? Is it me? Is it, you have new glasses. Yellow glasses on. Is that it? Something different. I there? am being viewed hmm. through. You are being yet viewed through. another Logitech high def. Webcam. Oh, you know what? You do look a lot better. You were very yeah. fuzzy last week. Yeah, last week, and the chat room is saying, "Hey, what do you got there? That you look way better." Well, I think so. One, one tip would be not to focus with your thumb. Like, yeah, well, right you know what? There. You know, movie stars in the old days they would put a little Vaseline on the lens. Thumb grease is even better. Yeah, I've been using raspberry jello. <laughs> It works. No, you, <laughs> it look, you look very good. Which Logitech is this? Uh, this is a new one. So, well, you know, we, we all love the 910, which oh, was their, what a great camera. One of their yeah. first high-def cameras. Then I switched to the C510. Which was an because, incredible deal. It was like 60 bucks and still yes, very yes. good. And it, and it added a, um, a swivel to it so that if I had a guest, I could easily turn the camera, which you couldn't do with the 910. So this is now, I, I do believe that the C510 is going away, and it's being replaced by the C615. 
Now, these are a couple of things on the C615 that I like. Uh, unbelievably, about three weeks ago, I thought, you know what? I would like to mount my webcam just a bit higher. And I, I took it off my laptop and turned it upside down just in case it had a tripod uh, port. It did not. The, the little the little screw screw the hole. little screw yeah. screw in a yeah. screw hole right so it turns out that the 615 the C615 has the tripod hole in the bottom it has oh that's swivel. great so you could get like a Joby Gorilla Pod or something and mount it exactly on that. exactly so it has swivel like the 510 that looks has good. it shoots uh, 1080p video. And it broadcasts 720p video. Uh, the, the software now is much more PC, uh, Mac compliant. Oh, that's They're good, because a lot of these didn't work with the Mac. Yes, there, some features still only work on the PC, but... Um, but they do have at you least know, Mac software. Yeah, exactly, okay, exactly. Um, yes, and it does FaceTime for Mac, um, one-click upload to uh, Facebook, uh, eight megapixel still pictures. Wow. Okay. Now, it's coming in at seventy nine ninety five. That's the list, but that's very good. That's a remarkable yes, price. That, yes, and, you know, it's just coming out, so... Already, it's down between 70, uh, 70 and seventy-five dollars on Amazon. But as it, you know, rolls out, I'm sure that's going to come down again. And when you consider years ago, <laughs> my first camera, Leo, was a hundred and fifty bucks. It was black and white, and you know the image was grainy. So we we zoom ahead with each new version and uh this is pretty reasonable well you know I, when we first started doing uh from this cottage uh video of any kind it was with the, one of those little was it an orbit the round yes the orbit i was the trying orbit. to think of the name yeah. the orbit that came with that uh crappy little base so that you could set it in right and put it in at different angles so you could sort of aim it towards somebody that was yeah. that i mean so that wasn't that long ago we've come I mean, you could you can give video with this that is very close to the the quality that we're actually, you know, broadcasting with our high quality cameras. In there fact, you, go. you know, and I should mention this as well. This is um, the next time that we see you, you'll be very lifelike. Yeah, you'll be you know the quality the the flesh tones. You know what, Leo? Be... It'll be like I'm in the next room. No, wow. it's gonna be like I'm in the same room. Oh wow! Because you will be. He's gonna be out here next week, but then the yeah. week after that. We're gonna, and this will be interesting, you folks. I want you to save this edition of the Daily Gizwiz, the video edition, because I don't think the yeah. audio will be much changed. But the video edition, because then we're gonna switch to from Skype, which is what we use now, yes. to video. We're gonna start using VideoCast, and oh. they they recommend these cameras to, to oh, use with VideoCast, and and one of the reasons is VideoCast is capable of high def. So we are gonna actually have a hot, for the first time ever, we're gonna be able to see the wrinkles, the warts. The little tiny hairs growing out of his of his uh, head, those will be visible in great detail. No, I'm going to be I'm going to uh, put a Turkish towel over the lens <laughs> instead of they see his no more raspberry cloth. jello, folks. <laughs> no, it should be. I'm hoping. I mean, I have very high hopes for videocast, but I think that this is going to all of our cars instead of using Skype will be using video. And I wow. Think V I D Y O. You can take a look at videocast.com if you want to see what we're going to be using, and I think that's going to be better. So we'll have to get you the software. I'll just send you a link, and uh, and you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, very good. good. Yeah. Very so this good. is nice, and it will work. I know it will because uh, they recommended that we get, uh, well, its predecessor, uh, the 910. But I think the 615 looks even better. Really liking this. That's yeah. amazing what they can do. Isn't it? Bucks. Even at even at eighty bucks, yeah. which you don't have to pay. And I'm pretty, so pretty happy it works with Mac now, and that they have yeah. Mac drivers for it. That's fantastic. All right, that's gadget numero uno. Yes, gadget number two, the STEM. Have you ever heard of the company called STEM? STEM, S T E M. Yes. No. No, me either. No, me. And either. I I got this gadget, and I was reading about the company, and STEM. The CEO of STEM was the former CEO of a company we all know, Extreme Mac. Oh, they make they made great stuff, Mac uh, okay. add-ons. Yeah, exactly. So now, what the, what uh, STEM's one of STEM's first product is something called the Time Command. It's a it's an iPod, iPhone, uh, iPod Touch dock, 
with some really neat features. First of all, the sound, let me just uh, turn this way and I'll see if you can. I'm going to let you hear a little bit. Wow, that sounds better than you. That sounds great. Brand new day and brand new. Wow. turn it off can you oh good there we go yeah no isn't it pretty nifty <laughs> no that's, so a, that's now, amazing this looks really nice it's also a clock it, radio it's a clock radio and, and also Leo, it has built-in internet radio because i i put oh. my iphone in it and it said do you want to listen to your ipod music or do you want to listen to the internet and i'm going well Okay, the internet. And then you get a choice of about 12 different genres of music. And I hit dance and, you know, it just plays great dance music. But what I like about it, I didn't know why they made it round. And it's about eight inches in diameter. It's but like a big having, hockey puck. Yes, it is. Well, yeah. that's what they call you, but I didn't <laughs> want to say big hockey it, puck it, you. To, your, to your face. Exactly. Yeah. But by the speakers aiming out at an angle... There's really a lot of separation for such a small ah. unit. Uh, and as you heard, the sound is really nice. Uh, I tell you, if I got this in my house, I'd be separated too. <laughs> <laughs> what is that noise? Uh, a little graphic equalizer. Yeah. Then comes with one of those big plugs that we were talking about. And on the side of the plug is, an, is a, another AC plug in. And I'm thinking... Oh, this was clever. They know it's going to take up an outlet, so they give you another outlet on the side. And then I thought, you know, before I plug something into it, you I'll read be the rules. really, let me just look yes. at the instructions. Yeah. Uh, turns out you plug your bedroom lamp into that AC in on the plug for the time command. And then you can, as you fall asleep, the lamp will dim. As you oh, wake up, it, you can wake up to light if you oh, want. Oh, I got to get this. I like this. This is a great idea. Right. Now, don't forget, it's got to be incandescent or a dimmable uh, bulb. Well, I have a halogen that's dimmable. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. You know, it should probably work. It should probably work. And yeah. the great thing, you don't have to set the time because as soon as you plug your, whatever you plug into it, the iPad, It gets the whatever, time from the device? It gets it picks up the time from the device. Well, wait a minute! You said this this supports an iPad too, so I could plug an iPad into this. Yes, the the picture you have on the screen now, if you're watching video, that's what my iPod my uh, iPod Touch looks like. But it goes right the in there. The pad is wall to wall. It it just touches the sides of the time command. Well, that gives you some idea of how how wide it is. This, this looks great. This yeah, like it, a really Leo, it's a hundred bucks, ninety nine ninety five. Great sound and some good ideas. It turns the lamp on. On Leo, also uh, battery backup, so the alarm still rings if there's no power. It looks like it has an app. Does it have its own STEM app? For it has its own app. It has its own uh, downloadable app. Um, it, it is really nifty. And then if there is no power, the time flashes like once every. 15 seconds so that you know that the power is off, but you also know what time it is. Uh, if the time's on there steady, then it's getting its power supply. So the time is but accurate I, even with the, I guess it's got a battery in there, right? It, it does. It, is uh, it iPad four, 1 or iPad 1 and iPad 2? You know, Leo, I don't know. Only because I just checked to see if it would work and with does the... does it uh, charge the iPad? Is one it question. does charge. It does. It does wow. charge it. And there was something else. This is really uh, time command is compatible with uh, iOS devices uh, 4.2 and higher. That's the software. It's the software. Let's see if I can figure out from the website. Um, it, it says iPod, iPhone, and iPad. It doesn't say right. any particular model. I would guess if it supports an iPhone, it's thick enough to have an iPad too, but it would be... Leo, well, something else that I like. The, the dock has a little bit of flex to it. So if you want to put your phone in it while it's in the case, the little spring will move forward a little bit so the case can fit over the docking station so that you can charge your iPhone or your whatever you have in there while it's still in a hard case. Hmm. They're selling so, these in the Apple Store. That's a, usually a pretty good sign. Yes, the Apple Store. Yeah. Uh, and so that's it. It's called STEM... 
Time Command, and it's one of their first gadgets from the new company called STEM. Well, well we're going to take a little break, and when we come back, yes. it's time for a movie. Oh, I love movies. Firefly. Love that movie. <gasps> Yeah. Yeah. But before we Oh huh? The Gizwiz is in that. He, the Gizwiz is in Firefly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to spoil the ending. Oh, must be a different Firefly. <laughs> <laughs> before we talk about that, kids and kiddles, I'd love to talk about the secret behind exceptional websites. We're talking Squarespace here, squarespace.com. If you are not yet using Squarespace and you want to create a new site or maybe you have a friend or a restaurant, or a business that doesn't have a website, you, it's so easy to set up a Squarespace site that you could actually go in there. Alex Lindsay did this. While you're having dinner, he said, hey, I like this restaurant, but how come I couldn't find anything out about it on the web? And the, and the guy in the restaurant said, well, why, we don't have a website. Now, that Alex said, are you, are you nuts? I mean, you got to have a website, right? So this is great. He, while he was eating dinner with one hand, Went to squarespace.com, clicked that big green try it free button, and created a website for the restaurant. As he's going out the door, he gives him the login and the password and says, this is yours. It's free for two weeks if you decide you want it. Just uh, there's the password. Just sign up. It's that easy to create your own website with squarespace.com. Now, it could be a blog. It could be a f photographic uh, gallery. In fact, if you go to the examples, you'll see a lot of businesses, a lot of photographers, schools, nonprofits, health and wellness, media, food and drink, e-commerce even sites use Squarespace. I mean, big, big businesses. To, and they're all beautiful sites. It's one of the things I like about Squarespace. You don't have to be a designer to have a, a site that's just gorgeous. I want you to give it a try right now. Go to squarespace.com. Click that Try It Free button. Use it for a couple of weeks. I mean, all the features. The iPad and iPhone app. The incredible stats. The uh, integration of social media with just point and click. You can import and export from all the major website APIs. Movable type, WordPress, TypePad, Blogger. Export too, so you're never stuck there. And they take all the comments, everything. S simple posting and more. Try that free for two weeks if you decide to buy the hosting plus the software, as little as ten bucks a month. But you're going to get ten percent off if you use the offer code Gizwiz7 for the first six months of your Squarespace site. Ten percent off when you use the offer code Gizwiz7. Try it for free right now. The secret behind exceptional websites: Squarespace.com. Tell them the Gizwiz sent you. Now, what did you use? I'm just out of curiosity. Every time we do a video, I have to ask you, what did you use to film this video? Okay, this is the Vado from Creative Labs. This is the Vado that we used last time. The Vado, okay. Uh, oh, last time we used the, uh, actually we used the Acer Pad last time. Oh, the Acer Pad. So this uh, is something, this is yeah. that, that creative uh, camera thing. They're, yeah, the little, the little thing. Like their so last, way, last, last uh, Friday's Gadget Warehouse, or last week's Gadget Warehouse, was the little thing called String Ray. It took motors. Oh, and yeah, it, yeah. It, that was it, funny. Yeah. It, you know, a spring, and then it, it, it added color to it, and it was from the mid-1970s, and it was 80 bucks. So this week, I find a new gadget just coming out called Fireflies, and what it does... Well, watch for yourself. Watch. In this video. In this video that doesn't move. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Go. Oh, hey, Dick D. Bartolo, the Gizwiz. You know, last week I showed a gadget that was 26 years old and cost 80 bucks called String Ray. Let you make designs with string. So it's so funny that I just found this this week that pretty much does the same sort of thing, but costs just 10 bucks. So, let, so we, you, you spin it around until Did the string go, starts wee, wee, to wee. twist. Yeah, and then when you pull it out, wah, 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 wah. <laughs> so I'll do it again, and I'm gonna bring it over into the light so that you can see better what's going on, okay? Oh. Okay, it's string. Well, that that was the old thing was string ray. This is fireflies, and fireflies uses two LEDs, 
and batteries and it sells for 10 bucks or under. So there you go. There is the modern version of the string ray that you can get. And it's, it's quite fun. It's good exercise too for kids. Okay, Dick DiBartolo, the Gizwiz. So essentially the improvement that they made, Dick, is they took the batteries out. So you have to spin it. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. But, you know, there are all sorts of videos on the web. Kids can do all sorts of really great designs with this thing. So it, it's creative. Also, it seems to be in very short supply. It, it just came out. It's flying off the shelves. Get it? Uh, yes. It, yes. Yes. It's very. What, did you go to my website already? No, did you write uh, that? Uh, great so, minds. So, great minds. Yes, exactly. So Fireflies is uh, 10 bucks. And it's just coming out now. And evidently, people who bought them are trying to resell them on eBay for like uh, 15 to 20 bucks. But the uh, retail price is, I think, 9.99. Three different versions. And the versions vary just by the color of the LEDs uh, so that you can uh, make different color designs. But it's kind of clever. I like it. And just your, if you're so, you're curious about how to spell it, it's exactly like it sounds. Yes. F-L-Y-Z. Z. Yeah. Uh, is there like another way? No. That's, no. That's, that's what like, I would like have thought. It's like the insect. You sure it's not fire flizz? Uh, no. 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 Fire so, uh, fly. Yeah. Flies. Yeah, there you go. There you go. For flizz. And it runs on... Uh, Two little, um, they're CR1620 well, batteries. little lithium. Probably last a long time. Those yeah, things exactly. drive me crazy uh, because I have them in my, bat, in my watch. I can never find them. My watch dies. It's like I have a watch on my shelf right now. I, I just, one of these days, i got to go to Radio well, Shack. Because yeah. it's the only yeah. place you can You know them. what? I, I buy them over the internet. You know, like Wait a batteries minute. from my You hat. can get them over the internet? <laughs> yeah, uh, but Leo, the internet, you need a computer now. Oh. You know, the internet used to be able to get it through the mail. Could I use my ham radio? And then everybody was mail. To order yeah. over the internet? It, it's a scam. It's a scam. You got to buy uh, a break computer. Breaker Breaker 19, uh, call on Amazon.com. I'd like to buy me some CR2032 batteries. Go ahead. Uh, Amazon, uh, Breaker Breaker, this is Amazon. I'm afraid you're going to have to contact us through your computer. It's a new rule. <laughs> you know, <laughs> there's actually, it's against the law, get this, to use hand. Yeah, I, go ahead. I, I, I should explain. Perhaps I should explain. Okay. Maybe you noticed a little something different about me today, did you? You know what? You sort of look like a man who has a new kind of license. I got a, I got a license to ham it up, baby. Wow. Last night... I took yes. the bold step of heading over to the Our Savior's Lutheran Church in Lafayette, California, where four old men were waiting for me. Yeah. <laughs> <This gets me. laughs> yeah. I hope there's no video of this. <laughs> there's a picture. Wait a minute. Let me see if I can find the picture. Uh, I took my ham test. Actually, it was a lot of fun. It was the Mount Diablo uh, Amateur Radio Club there, M Dark. And they were very, very kind to me. They welcomed me, and uh, they, they, they gave me my test. And just, just I so understand you know, they did not this have is the, the picture. This is the picture <laughs> of all of us after I passed my test. <laughs> oh. <laughs> They're a nice bunch. I really enjoyed them. Man, many of them are fans of yours. Oh, and, wow. And they said, uh, and one of the reasons that I became a. Uh, a ham is because I was told there would be gadgets involved. And indeed there gadgets. are. Quite pricey. Yeah. Quite pricey gadgets, as a matter of fact. Oh, uh, do they light up? They light up. Okay, I'm interested. They get I'm in. And all sorts of things. I'm in. So uh, I am now at I, I am the lowest of the low. The the the, the Oh, the, I could have told you that. The intern level of ham called technician. But I'm gonna take another test next month and another one after that and eventually I'll become a full fledged ham and these guys are gonna help me do it. And you know, uh, if if the lowest of the low is technician, what is the top? The top is extra. It goes technician, general, extra. And I was told that oh, hams nice. are actually uh, uh, very snobby. 
And that you have to become, you have to go all the way. You can't just stop a technician or you'll, they'll think you're a loser. Oh, you, they got to get a better name. <laughs> yes. I'm extra. Take a look at me. I'm an extra. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. it's really, it's actually a great hobby. I've been in radio for 35 years, but this is not, but so it's against the law. And one of the things I learned in order to take this test, oh, yeah, right, right, you have right. to know this. It's against the law to do any commercial traffic at all. And they give as an example. So you're on the, you're on the ham radio talking to another ham, you know. And, uh, you know, you do all the ham stuff. And then you say, oh, I'm stuck in traffic right now. Hey, would you, and you're talking to a ham, maybe a ham at work. Would you just uh, tell my secretary to uh, move an appointment, move that appointment for me because I'm not going to be in? <laughs> That's considered commercial use, and you could be dinged for that. You could what? lose your license for that. Yes. So do not buy batteries from Amazon.com on the ham frequencies. <laughs> okay. See, I, I took the test. I know. You can wow. trust me. I know what I'm talking about. Wow. No, It'll be I, the first time. Do you think, <laughs> do you think now, I, a little uh, point of order here. Okay. I will be getting a lot of ham gear. Yeah. I already ordered my okay. first radio. Would that okay. be appropriate to talk about on the Gizwiz as it turned the table turkey? Compared to some of the stuff you've done? Yeah. I think it's a great idea. Okay, because you're not going to like the next one. The one I got today, it's a flashlight. You're not, it's not. You actually, you oh, I, like, I like, like flash. I like, like flashlights. You're right. talking to a man here who just did a video of two spinning LEDs. Well, that's a good point. <laughs> that's but a good point. Were, mine, you, were, mine were color you and made patterns. <laughs> you've raised the bar here. That's a very good point. In fact, Dick, why don't you introduce our Turn the Table Turkey? Okay. Hey, Dick DiBartolo, just once a week. We get out the stuffing, the gravy, the cranberry sauce, <laughs> and the candied yams for Leo's Turn the Table Turkey! Leo looks under his desk to find some crap to share. Oh, look, I found something. Says the oh, this is better than a spork. It's turn the table to the turkey! that we gotta edit out that tuesday part no uh, yeah yeah so dick i uh this is actually you know you know me mr last minute leo oh come on leo I what are you kidding I you've been contemplating this for five minutes I, <laughs> I frequently show up at the studio on a saturday of a saturday without a gadget of any kind hoping that someone will show up put something in my hand that i can review <laughs> and once again my hope has been Vindicated. Mark Schiebel, who is a ham. Oh, boy. And owns countycom.com, if that's not confusing. Two M's in the com, one M in the other com. County, C O U N T Y C O, double M dot C O, single M dot com. Okay. And they make uh, tactical stuff. Like for, oh, tactical stuff. Tactical stuff for like the police and stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah. And this is, he handed me this. What do you think that is? I'll show you a little close-up of it. You know, it looks like that little thing that picks up CDs that I did as a what the heck is gadget. This could be a what the heck is it. Yeah. Um, it could be a light. It, could be a it, looks like, it looks like, is that a focus ring? It's like my first lightsaber <laughs> for little kids. <laughs> <laughs> little Jedi. But it, it, Well, maybe this will give you a, a hint. It says on it, Maritac AA. Oh, high rated. Maybe this will give you a hint. Uh, a double A. A double A is in as in a battery. As in a battery. Very good, Dick. Oh, then it's got to be a flashlight. Yes, you knew it. And it is a flashlight. But watch out because it is not working. <laughs> well, I think if you close the battery compartment. I think I screwed it up by trying oh, to screw no. it. Oh no! There it is. Okay. It oh, is, my word. Yeah, it is. I just think I burn out this camera. It's all right. We're moving. Oh, my it word. Is, it is the brightest. See that camera? It looks like how dark it went. It is Holy. the brightest flashlight. I think I'm actually ruining this camera. I won't do it anymore. The brightest wow. flashlight. It, they, they say it's the brightest flashlight with a single AA battery in it. It is so that's a, bright. That's a lot of power. For yeah. A, I mean, this is really bright. What's the battery life? About nine seconds? Hey, life, life, you mind if I blind you? It won't last too long. We got a big fan of yours in studio here. 
How old are oh, you, Life? Fine. Why don't you buy one 13? of your fans? He's young. His eyes will come back fast. Oh, good. Okay. Just Why don't you buy one the... of your hams? <laughs> are you a ham, Life? He's laughing now. He's also got yeah. his eyes closed like this. No! No, 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 no Leo. No. So this is the, uh, do not shine this in anybody's eyes. No, they, do not. This is very How many lumens, bright. Leo, does it say? How many lumens? You know what? This is so many lumens, we don't even talk about lumens. Oh, okay, okay. I don't know. I, I, that's because I don't how many, know how many lumens. Let me see if no, it says. No, that's all right. No, it's probably like It's very a bright. They say it's the Maritac AA Extreme Flashlight, the world's best AA flashlight. That's beautiful uh, construction out of, you know, tactical aluminum. Kind of like the, uh, you know, those police flashlights, right? Yeah. Uh, but this is so tiny, teensy, weensy. Wow. Um, they offer it. It's not expensive either. Uh, they offer it in uh, OD green as well as white. It's 82 grams. That's about 2.8 ounces without the 120 battery. lumens. Whoa. Is that bright? Uh, yeah, because 70 is fair. I, I think the brightest flashlight I have is 70 lumens, and it's bright. But now watch this. This is kind of cool, okay? So you turn it on. When you first turn it on, it's the, it's the full lumens. That's, right. But then if you just tap this back, it goes into a, a dim mode that is much, ow, much less bright. <laughs> I said, there it is. And that's, a, that's just a little... One uh, one point uh, two lumens or something like that. It's much less. Oh, okay. One point five okay. lumens. So it's yeah, kind of so neat. So it has a full, you know, blind the guy thing uh, feature, and then it's got right. like a kind feature for if you don't need that much. Right. Yeah. So then you kick it, you blind him with that, and then you kick it in low. He said, "Oh, I'm, oh, so, I'm so sorry. sorry. I didn't mean to shine that in your eyes." Anyway, you probably wouldn't want to do this. The uh, now this is the summer price for this is thirty five ninety five, which is a great. Deal. Well, that's pretty good. Single double A battery. They're saying about two hours of uh, of full operation on a single double A battery, which is pretty. And that's pretty at the, at the full brightness. At the full brightness, of course, it go forever yeah. practically at the one point five lumens. So this is pretty cool. I want to thank uh, Mark for bringing this by and saving my keister. I kind of yeah. like this. I know Wait, you're into what, flashlights. What, what, what's the model number again of that? Uh, this is yep. the Mar Maratac Tactical Extreme Double A. Uh, uh, it's tactical. you know it really is beautiful. It does kind of look like a lightsaber, doesn't it? But yeah. I'm gonna, but it's small enough that you know I could carry this in the glove compartment uh, or even my pocket. I mean it's not it's not that big, and have a really bright light. You know I gotta say as we take the wires out of the studio here, this is gonna come in and really in handy to be able to. You could even it's small enough you can hold it in your mouth. Do you ever do that? Yeah. You know, when you're looking at stuff or whatever. I mean, wait a minute. Maybe you could even put it over your ear. Yeah. No, nah, not really. But it's you very... know that Night Eyes actually makes a gadget that takes a I flashlight <laughs> Puts it you your hold head. in your mouth? Or I could just use that, uh, uh, what is it, like a tooth grip on it? It's designed for your mouth? Yes. That's a little weird. Maybe I could um, use that those Velcro uh, strips and just... That'd be good. That would be good. Yeah, I like it. Anyway, this I was kind of impressed. This thing is really, you, it doesn't do it justice. It's really, really bright. No, I can see that. Yeah. Oh, oh, Leo. It got me right through the throat. <laughs> that is I, my, I'm see, my seeing turn spots the table. Yeah. Yeah. How you like that, seeing Dick? spots before. Oh, uh, seeing yeah. spots before my eyes. Can I see your license and ID. All right. <laughs> so that's, uh, thank you for uh, bringing that by, Mark. He just left that here. Little did he know. That it would soon be a turn-the-table turkey. Yeah. No, it's good. I like it. Now, Dick, uh, we're going to take another break. When we come back, a visit to the warehouse and letters from our viewers. Yes. Does that sound good to you? Sounds perfect to me. Have you been following the news? You know, there's been a lot of uh, noise about Netflix raising their prices. Yes. And I had to laugh because I, we are so spoiled. Because how much is a movie ticket in New York City? $13? Uh, yeah, about 12 bucks for a regular movie and like 15 or 16 for a 3D movie. Yeah. And how much is um, a rent, a, 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 to buy a DV is like 50 bucks, right? 40 bucks. Uh, Netflix no. raised its price. What they did is they split the streaming out from the disc. So if, you're, if you just want the streaming, $7.99 for unlimited Netflix movies. Every night you can watch movies from Netflix streaming to your computer, your iPad, your iPod Touch, your iPhone, your some Android phones, 
your PlayStation 3, your Xbox 360, your Nintendo Wii. I mean, these are great movies. Silence of the Lambs, Memento, About a Boy, Firefly, Dirty Dancing. This is Spinal Tap, Moonstruck, The Grifters, True Lies. These are all movies, 2001, that I just watched recently. The Piano. Uh, Panic in Needle Park, if you like the old movies, Raging Bull, if you want to watch Academy Award winners. And TV shows, you bet, including Mad Men, the entire Star Trek saga from the original series through Enterprise and the Next Generation. And this is... Dexter. Dexter. Uh, is Dexter on here? Yeah. Really? Oh, wow. Calif uh, Californation. Californation. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> um, look, I got to tell you, I am just a big fan of Netflix streaming and at 7.99 I don't think there's a better deal out there for streaming movies. Yeah, you can also get the discs. It's a separate purchase. It's, you know, they I think it ranges from a, uh, another 7.99 to more. I pay like 40 bucks cuz I like having discs. But really, 7.99 how can anybody complain about $8 a month for all you can eat streaming movies, tens of thousands of great titles. Every night I watch a movie. I watch The Fighter. You know, I, was, I, I didn't see The Fighter last year. I know it was big Academy Award blockbuster. Uh, Christian Bale and Melissa Leo. And, and I, I, saw, I missed it. And I was going through my Netflix streaming, and I saw it. And I said, oh, I'm going to watch that. Wow, that's a heavy movie. <laughs> but an amazing performance by Christian Bale. If you like boxing films, this may be, and Mark Wahlberg's, and that may be one of the best boxing films ever made. Just great. And they all talk like you. <laughs> it's I almost said, Dick, can you translate? I don't understand a way they say any. Uh, it, it is amazing. I've been watching Battlestar Galactica. This is nice, too, because you can, you know, well, I just pressed play. I might as well. Let's watch. Forget the rest of the show. Let's okay. watch Battlestar Galactica. It's such a good show. Try it free for 30 days. Netflix.com slash twit. I got to tell you. And if you're already a Netflix subscriber, tell your friends. I think a lot of them are seeing these news stories saying Netflix raises its... They didn't raise their price. Seven ninety nine. It's still the... Yes, sir! Oh, yeah. Is it coming in there? Oh, uh, yeah. Wait a minute. I better stop this because if I start there, watching this, we're never going to... I haven't quite figured out all the tricks, We're never going to get there. the show done. That's Battlestar Go. I love him. He's so good in this movie. I mean, TV show. Netflix.com slash twit. Tell your friends. Tell your neighbors. And whatever you do... Hello, Dick. Yes? Don't tell Dick. <laughs> and now my friends ladies and gentlemen boys and girls children of all ages please keep your hands and feet inside the car as we descend 1700 floors to the bowels of the Manhattan Book Depository where secreted away buried beneath the ground lower than the lowest subway we keep Dick's Gadget Warehouse. There are no windows and no doors. They're kinky doors. and they're goofy. Whoa. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play in Dick's Gadget Warehouse. And now here he is. Dick DiBartolo. Leo. Hello. You, know, you can have a gadget warehouse in that basement of yours of that new oh, building. Oh, man, you know what we're going to do? Oh, I saw some video. Oh, that huge. place is huge. You could put in old bowling alleys. Oh, yeah, bowling alley fit, candle pin. We could Small have... Small airplanes. You could have a squash cord. You Anything. Put, oh, it's amazing. No, it's a great. It's uh, th that's actually the problem. It's so big, so huge, so wonderful. I can't decide what to do with it. We'll do everything. I'll do it all. <laughs> do it all. You do know, it we, all. Should the, uh, we should put the we should put the drop cam uh, down there instead. We've been we've been. It's been so much fun. People have been watching. I, have, have you watched our video and uh, live yes, streaming video? Yes, I, I've watched several of them. Well, we, it, I made is, it is amazing. For a while, it almost looked like I was watching a still store every time I would go to drop cam. And then suddenly, in the past a month, been happening. there are these giant changes taking yeah. place. Yeah, I'm pretty proud. We, it, it's funny, because what we asked the team to do is unheard of. I mean, basically build a, a broadcast television studio for pennies on the dollar. Um, nobody who works for me had ever done anything like this before, and yet they showed such amazing ability. They really rose to the occasion. You will be, your mind will be blown next week. 
Oh, this scares the hell out of me. Next yeah. week, when we do the yes. Giz Wiz. <laughs> It'll be just one day later, and I'll be there. From the new studio. Yeah, I know. It doesn't know. seem possible, to be honest with you. I know. Maybe it isn't, but I bet it is. No, I think we have to. We printed stickers. Oh, then you have to. Yeah, they, they have yeah. the date on that was, See, that was your big mistake. That was your... Hey, hey uh, right. Liz, would you bring me some of the new stickers? I just want to show people the oh, stickers. Yeah, I want to so see. So the way I we're doing this, see. by the way, we are inviting people to join us um, to see the show, but it's all sold out for the first day, so don't even... Email Eva, my sister, eva at twit.tv. Uh, we have room for 50 people at a time in there. I mean, it's, not, you know, it's huge, but it's not that huge. And so... Oh, we haven't opened the box yet. <laughs> oh, this is exciting. This is. Can you give me a a, a sharp Lisa, blade? Lisa, how you I'll doing? Just, I'll just. That's Liz, not Lisa. I'll burn it oh, off with the, with the laser. Oh, Liz, sorry. Do you have a blade? I have a do blade. You use, will you scissors oh, scissors are all right. They don't usually let me uh, use scissors here. This is kind no. of a, a treat for me. She's watching very. Well, yeah, you know, what we should have we should have done. I should have sent you a private email. We should have had people sneaking in and pretend stealing things as people watch the drop cam. Well, that would be fun. Who's that guy down there? What's he doing? Yeah. Uh, oh, I think uh, it's hey, happening. Hey. It's happening. <laughs> That's not something we planned. Um, there actually are, somewhere on the right of that picture, you can't see it, there are 30 cameras, $60,000 worth of cameras. Whoa. Uh, that's actually, I think that's Burke McQuinn, who is building the camera mounts. There are 120 oh, I saw those camera mounts. Those yeah, are nice. 120 light fixtures worth a total of forty thousand dollars. That desk alone on the left there, that that's a ten thousand dollar desk. Wow. <laughs> well, I bought a new eight dollar t shirt. <laughs> Thank so you. I'll have that. All right. This is this is what we're gonna have for people. Uh, when when you now again you have to email, okay? Eva at Twitter. Don't just show up. But people who come will get this, oh, and, and you see, yeah, I, that's great. This is guarantee a guarantee that the uh, that I've jinxed myself. We put the date on it. Wow, July twenty fourth, twenty eleven. I thought that was wow. kind of a little bold. No, it's great. I ordered five of them. They're six dollars each. Hey, we got to pay for this damn stuff. Yeah, I know. No, these are, we'll give you these free. In fact, <laughs> here uh, to make up for blinding you, life. Here's here's a sticker. You can have one too. Now you the also have here. separate stickers for him around the for San Diego Comic Con, right? We have stickers for Comic Con. In fact, do you have those stickers? Yeah. Oh, do you I have like to, open to see those box because too? who's going out to San Diego, Leo? Uh, Tom Merritt and uh, Eileen will be down there. I think Sarah Lane will also be down there. Our coverage is Saturday, a week from today, okay. right after. Oh, the, oh, I thought they're doing something Friday too. Are they not? Sure. I'm sure they are. I don't know. Oh, okay. Cause I was, Why are you asking uh, me? Like, I would know? Uh, yeah, okay. Because uh, I'm supposed to be in on the Friday thing. So. Yeah. Oh, well, we told you we're doing something, just so you wouldn't <laughs> I see. feel okay. left out. No, Friday. Of course we are. Broadcasting Friday from Comic-Con in San Diego. And then, uh, and then uh, right after... We're, well, see, to, ne uh, uh, good program note. Yes. We will not be here next week at the same time because we're gonna, Dick's going to fly out. Yes. And we're going to do the Gizwiz live from the new studio right after Twit on Sunday night, the 24th. So if you like watching the show live, do. Did you just pop my ball? What? Okay, we'll find out in a moment if I suddenly disappear, Dick. Okay, Fire I'll lids. take over. Okay. <laughs> oh, good. It was nothing. Nothing permanent, huh? So this is the Comic Con sticker. No, you're not. Oh, okay, Twit great. Comic Con. So for some reason, we print special stickers for every damn thing we do. Nice. With, the, with the assumption that somehow people will want to collect all f whatever, five or okay. 20 or how many there yeah, are. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So far, there hasn't really been a big collectible market on these. Well, I don't think people knew about them, but now that they do. And then there's the regular one. The regular one, yeah. And they're all free. They're free. And in fact, if you book, want any the, of these, yeah. send us the a book self to put them in, Leo, is, is it 50 bucks? No, 70. 70 bucks. But you book need it to... because it, it holds them in exactly the right orientation. Right. And it's the official the Twit official decal no. holder book. If you want, you know what, folks, I know you can't all come to our opening. Uh, we do have 50 people already and more already uh, with tickets uh, to the opening day on the 24th to see Dick and to see us uh, do our first shows, Twit. And uh, you know who's going to be on Twit? It'll be a live studio Twit with John C. Dvorak, Kevin Rose, Patrick Norton, and Steve Gibson. Some of the earliest oh, twits. Great. And, of course, you'll wow. be there as well. So, uh, yeah. But you, if you can't make it, if you're going to be oh, in I Petaluma. I can make it. 
No, not you. I'm talking to the, the, oh, okay. the our listeners. But if you can't make it, uh, but if, you, if you're going to be in Petaluma any time in the first few weeks, we'll have l lots of space for people to watch. Uh, you know, it's filling fast, though. Email Eva at twit.tv. And if you can't make it, send me a self-addressed stamped envelope to uh, twit, P.O. Box 1018, Rockefeller Center, New York. No, no, that's wrong. What? <laughs> twit, P.O. Box 1018, Petaluma. How do you spell that, Dick? Petal P E T A L U M A. Hey, he did it right. No N. Usually he adds Pantaluma. Petaluma, California, 94953. 94953. And send a self addressed stamped envelope with the stamps on it, which is usually how they come. And we will uh, we will send you. Tell us what stickers you'd want. Uh, we'll send you some stickers, right? We'll have we have enough that I could send some stickers out, right? No, how many? How many? How many? Well, yeah, of course we can order more, but how many brick house stickers do we have? Is that a thousand? While supplies last, what we'll do is we'll probably want to give these out at the event, and then if any, anything that's left, we will uh, we'll send. And if and yeah. if we don't have any of those, we'll send you. Some of the other hotly desired <laughs> Twit stickers. Yeah. Twit yeah. goes to NASCAR. That was uh, many, many people. Yeah, that was wanted. good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Twit at the <laughs> nanny. We have a thousand. Well, we'll probably have enough. But but you know what we'll do is let's hold those self address stamped envelopes until after the opening. So we've handed out as many as we people who are there, and then we can give the rest away. So Excellent. Leo Laporte, P.O. Box ten eighteen, Petaluma nine four nine five three. And now, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, the warehouse. <laughs> we're in the, yeah, we're in the warehouse. We are in Where the, the hell are we? Well, we're warehouse. in the warehouse. So, all right, so last week I talked about the uh, Griffin cable that worked with an iPad, iPhone uh, uh, application called DJ. Yes, I remember okay. that. Yeah. yeah, so today's gadget warehouse is, and, and I think I just published it so you could see it, Leo, uh, on uh, gizwiz.biz was the the uh, the cable is 20 bucks and the app is 20 bucks except for the uh, iPod touch it was 99 cents this is an app that lets you do everything that my first disco mixer could do the company that made it was GLI uh, yeah that's the pic that's the photo of it Leah right there so GLI made the first disco mix. It was called the Disco 3800. It would let you hook up two turntables, and then with a headphone jack, you could audition the record you want to fade to. Oh, that's great. And then it had a little slide lever across the bottom that you could slide, uh, uh, go between the two turntables. It had a third input. If you had music on a third turntable or you wanted to mix in music from... A tape deck it could do that and it was only available back then at a place called Harvey Radio did you know Harvey Radio Leo I knew his a... brother Harvey Wallbanger oh yeah no 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 <laughs> Harvey Radio was in the mid 70s a very high-end audio place everything they sold started all the amplifiers like started at a thousand dollars so the GLI disco mixer 3800 was 325 bucks wow then you needed two turntables. Yes. You needed turntables that had pitch controls. Yes. So that you could slow them down to speed them up. Then I had bought something additionally that I can't find called the beat meter. <laughs> and the beat meter would, when, when you slowed or sped up the record so that the beats on both your discs were the same. The red lights would go out and a green light would come on. And then you could fade with that slider control from one turntable to the other and the beats would match. So now you can do all of that with the app called DJ uh, that you can find at the iTunes store. So it's, it's pretty nifty how far we've come with uh, two gadgets on the show that are both in the warehouse and available in far better, far cheaper versions today. That's, that's and now so you cool. say something. Yeah. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? Is this thing on? 
<laughs> Hello. I know you're counting your stickers, and you're saying, oh, I don't have this one. Actually, I, I was trying to find a picture. Let me see if I can find. No, it. You, you, you were, you were in leather bounding books, thinking. I think he's got an idea that we each. could make a yes. <laughs> way to the no, twit. I'm going to show you the warehouse item that we were, we are going to have in our um, new studio that you might like okay. a little bit. Okay. I have a picture of it if I can find it here. All right. Um, this thing is truly amazing. So, you know, because I'm a ham now. Yes. We'll have a little. Oh yeah, yeah, you're, you're official ham. I'm an official ham. I've got the yeah, paper to yeah, prove it. Yeah, we paper. are going to have a um, ham radio. You know, I don't know what they call it. Ham shack, I guess, in the uh, in the new studio. But in addition to that, we've decided to kind of have a tribute to analog radio in there, and we have arranged, believe it or not, for uh, we are we are purchasing this 1940s AM transmitter this is a collins am transmitter that is just so beautiful and so deco doesn't it look great can you see yeah. that well, yeah it's not like the size of a phone booth yeah yeah <laughs> see the meters these tubes yeah. will light up see all that stuff yeah is that not awesome i mean did you get in that and transport yourself it looks huge it looks like something out of doctor who doesn't it yeah yeah and then, in addition to that Collins uh, transmitter, we're also going to have a console, a mixer console, you know, the kind that uh, I grew up or first broadcast with, with the round knobs. And I was thinking, if I had a couple of turntables, you don't have turntables, do you, DJ-style turntables? You know, I I think I gave them away. I, I did. I, I, I had I like five or six them. turntables in the warehouse. I know. Well, yeah. i got to get two turntables yeah. and a cart yeah. machine. And then I could have an entire oh. AM radio station in my Good. in our new studio. It wouldn't be working because obviously I don't have a license to broadcast. Although Bob Heil says that with a ham license, you can have a hundred watt AM radio station. So well, I, you can broadcast to three cars outside the studio. I could. You could be walking by and say, "Hey, everybody, this is your uncle Wolfman Jack. We're broadcasting live from Petaluma, California, bringing you the latest hits. All right, baby." You what can you hear us anytime within 300 feet. <laughs> if you're of within 300 address. feet of my voice, come in here and I don't have to shout so loud. <laughs> It'd be great. Anyway, I'm I'm yeah. looking I'm looking forward to having that, and uh, in in the new studio. So we're going to call this Radio Corner, because it's going to be a tribute to the early days of radio. Right, and radio. it's going to be in the corner, I assume. And we're going to put it in the corner. See, this is the yeah, mixer. Okay, See the good. mixer? It's got the knobs and the things on it. Yeah, I like yeah. it. I like it. I like it. Well, I thought your DJ thing might go well with that. Actually, it's too modern. It is too it's modern. It's too modern. <laughs> it won't, it won't. <laughs> what is that? What is, what is that thing you got there? That did not work. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Chad and Jeremy. So, I want to bring that kind of radio back. Nobody will listen, yeah. but I'm going to bring it back. It, it's overdue for a return. <laughs> Well, look, you want Casey in the Sunshine Band. I want Wolfman Jack. We're just a okay, little different. Okay. So if you go to gizwiz.biz, you can see a picture of the uh, of the original GLI 3800, the Disco 3800. You had a whole disco on your houseboat, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Was this there? The, uh, no, because I mixed my own uh, tapes at home. Oh, you'd mix them and, and then Because you, yeah. you, you, no, you didn't want to sit at the turntables. You wanted to dance. Exactly. And also, uh, I had a ton of equipment on the boat oh, from MGM stage lighting. Yeah. Dancing waters, fog machines. Uh, Wait the till only you thing see that the didn't work studio. out was the, Wait the you, rainbow. I'm telling you, machine. a lot of the lighting in the new studio comes from clubs. DJs. DJs oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I bet you got a great buy on them. Yes. Well, yes. And uh, some of it's new. It's not, it's not used for oh, clubs, okay. but it okay. comes okay. from. Uh, but the reason is DJs now are using a lot of LED technology. Yes, yeah. And so this is like this. And this is going to be lighting wise. Thanks to Brent By, our our lighting guy from OceanStudio.com, we are going to have really interesting. You'll see when you get that. You're, Dick, you have I'm no idea. I am so excited about this. Yeah. I mean, uh, it's just it's very exciting. This is the last show that we will do from the uh, from Twig that College. dump from this yeah i'm really starting to feel like it's a dump i can't wait to get out of here <laughs> what a dump what a dump
All right, it's time, ladies and gentlemen, for a visit from your favorite and mine. See, I'm not such a good DJ anymore. I have to practice. And yet you have that certificate. <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a ham. That's time was, in the good old days, when a man and a glove got together, it formed one Michael Jackson. Not really a disco. You need a mirrored ball to shine that on. <laughs> and now, a letter to the Gizwiz. And our letter comes from Garrett in New Haven, who writes, Dear Dick and Leo, I enjoyed your reminiscing about the old odd lot stores. Oh, yes. We do have Ocean State job lot in New England, and it's okay. There's still one railroad salvage left in the New Haven area. They have stuff on their shelves from department stores that have been out of business oh, yeah. for 10 years or more. Do you remember Bradley's or WT? T. Grands. I remember the that. The owner, Rudy Vine, did ads on TV similar to Crazy Eddie, along with his wife, Choo Choo. Oh, Choo Choo. I, oh, Railroad Salvage. I vividly oh, remember that growing up in Rhode Island. Ocean State. Did, oh, you knew it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, Railroad right. Salvage and Choo Choo. I remember very well. Oh, it's, that's a right. It's kind of a bitter memory from my childhood that just came back to me. Yeah, the best junk store around is Building 19. Each store has its own fractional identification, i.e. Building 19 and a half, Building 19 and three quarters, etc. Their weekly flyer is almost as good as a subscription to Mad Magazine. Uh, anyway, it's just more useless information for your digestion. Here's the uh, Garrett in New Haven. Look at that. Oh, there you go. That's there it. you go. Ruby bought 100,000 yards. What are we going to do with grass carpet? Come on in. Choo-choo. Bird yeah, vinyl shutters. Wow. wow. I don't think birds even use shutters. For bird vinyl shutters. Look at this. Men's reading glasses. Assorted styles and strengths. Now just $2.88. Wow. Gains. What is the Gains thing? It makes its own gravy. A three-pound bag. Just oh, two ninety nine. Three Three bags for wow. five. Wow. wow. They still are there. I wish I, I wish could find a video with Railroad Salvage and Choo Choo. Oh, wow. Well, that's a riot. Why? That's, that, brings, that's so funny. I haven't that thought about that in ages. Well, that's why we're here. Yeah. To bring, bring back, back bad memories. <laughs> Let me see. Choo Choo on the Railroad Salvage commercials. Wow. The Rudy Vine and Choo Choo. And, and see, there's a webpage. You grew up in Rhode Island, in Rhode Island during the 60s. If you remember Railroad Salvage and Choo Choo, and that's in fact right. Wow, this page is made for me. I grew up in Rhode Island in the 60s. Yes, indeed. That's bizarre. Wow. The web has everything. Yes, it does. Even us. <laughs> there's, no, there's no bit of crap that's not, not been preserved <laughs> and, and preserved in amber forever yeah. on, the, uh, on the web. I'm trying to find a video, but there's no video left. Uh, Folks, if you have a video of Railroad Salvage and Choo Choo and you want to put it up on the YouTube, let me know. Send me an email. We'll, we'll play it on the next Gizwiz. Yeah, maybe Garrett has one. You hey, might. Garrett. Garrett, if you're listening, Garrett in New Haven, if you have some video, send it to us. Dick, the time has come to say goodbye to all our family. We have completed our last Gizwiz in the old cottage. Everything must go. Anybody wants this lower third? Cheap. I'm choo selling them choo. all. Choo -choo. You tell We're blowing them, you that tell to their walls. Three lower thirds for five ninety nine. If you, the only thing I won't sell is the clock and the ball. I'm bringing those with me. Everything else has to go. Got Actually, to go. Fezorama. Fez. Get no. Your fez now. I'm We're taking the fez fezes. Spectacular. I'm taking a lot of this stuff with me. Actually. Oh. Okay. For nostalgia. Oh yeah. You got to. I'm leaving my teeth behind though. <laughs> they. I need new ones. Yeah, I think you do, Leo. For the new cottage, I think you should. The new, the new building. Yeah. Yeah, I think you should. Just brush them up a little. That's good. I just found my, my, my missing salad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's the missing salad from two years ago. That's a little yeah. old, but, you know. So, yeah. Dick, gosh, it's been, uh, it's, been, it's been great. How many, how many shows have we done from the cottage? All of them. All of them. All of them. We've done 1,322 shows from the cottage. And now 
it's over. If well, only. No. If only. <laughs> if only, yes. If only it were over. But no, it continues on. <laughs> well, you see, for me, I happen to like it. Oh. So, yeah. Well, I'm yeah. glad somebody does. Yeah. Uh, was that you? That was a motorcycle going by oh, my way. I thought you had burritos for lunch. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna say goodnight now and wish you all the best. We will next see each other not at this time Saturday the twenty third, but live in studio. You're going to Comic Con. We'll see you at Comic Con Friday the twenty second, Saturday the twenty third, and then Sunday the twenty fourth. We will be doing the Daily Gizwiz live from the brand new studio. It's very exciting. Yeah, and if you're at the Comic Con on Thursday at eleven thirty. There's a show called Spotlight on Dick D. Bartolo. Ta-da! Thursday afternoon at 4.30. I can do that. just uh, shine that right there. <laughs> oh, yeah, do it, yeah, do it. Spotlight. I might need that. I might need that. Right on there. Uh, Thursday afternoon at 4.30, there's a mad fan panel I'll be on. And then Friday morning, uh, there's a mad editor's uh, show I'll be at at uh, 10.30. And signing autographs and drifting through the hallways. So if you're going uh, to the San Diego Comic Con, drop me an email and we can uh, set up something. Excellent, Dick. Thanks so much. Have a great week. And we'll see you, you in person next week on the Daily Gizwiz. Weekly. I'll be there.